from Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Sarah Williams reporting. Thousands of migrants who waited for days in Hungary for passage to a passage west are now entering Austria. Austrian officials said Saturday that several thousand refugees have already passed into Austria, where they've been greeted with aid packages and a place to sleep. VOA correspondent Luis Ramirez is on the scene at the main international train station in Budapest, Hungary, from where many of the refugees departed. Most of the refugees who had been camping out at uh, the Kaleti station have now left. They uh, were cleared overnight Friday, Saturday, when the Hungarian government started providing buses to take them to the Austrian border. That's where uh, the majority wanted to go to eventually get to Germany. Austria's challengers, uh, chancellor said his country and Germany will grant the migrants unhindered entry. Chancellor Werner Freiman announced the decision early Saturday after talking with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. U.S. President Barack Obama says the United States and Saudi Arabia continue to cooperate closely in countering terrorist activity in the Middle East and around the world including the battle against Islamic State militants. During Saudi King Salman's visit to the White House Friday, the two leaders discussed the conflicts in Yemen and Syria, as well as the recently negotiated nuclear agreement aimed at curbing Iran's nuclear program. And we'll discuss uh, the importance of effectively implementing uh, the deal to ensure that Iran does not have a nuclear weapon. Uh, while counteracting uh, its destabilizing activities in the region. Look at our website at voanews.com. This is VOA News. A key Democratic U.S. Senator, Ben Cardin, has come out against the international agreement with Iran to curb its nuclear program. Cardin may hold sway with other lawmakers, He's considered an influential member of Congress who's a ranking member on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. His decision is seen as a setback to a push by the Obama administration to win the 41 Democratic votes needed to be able to block a vote of disapproval by the Senate. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko said Friday Russia should be stripped of its veto power in the U.N. Security Council because of its aggressive actions in the country's volatile east. In an exclusive interview with VOA's Miroslava Gongadze, Poroshenko said Russia should remain a Security Council member because it's a leading military power but that the global community would be safer if Russia's ability to play U.N. spoiler were put to an end. Americans observed the Labor Day federal holiday on Monday. U.S. President Barack Obama said in his weekly address Saturday that Labor Day is a day we set aside every year to honor the hardworking men and women who fought for so many of the rights that we take for granted today. He said the people involved in the labor movement worked not just for a bigger paycheck for themselves, but for more security and prosperity for the folks working next to them as well. In a report Friday from the Labor Department, the U.S. unemployment rate fell to the lowest level in seven and a half years in August at 5.1 percent. That's a drop of two-tenths of a percent from the previous month. Campaigning has concluded for Sunday's presidential election in Guatemala, despite calls for a postponement after President Otto Perez Molina resigned over corruption allegations. Perez Molina said in court that he's innocent of accusations that he accepted $800,000 in bribes from businessmen seeking to avoid import taxes. Perez Molina has not yet been formally charged. He next appears in court on Tuesday. 
Meanwhile, Guatemalans will decide Sunday who will replace Molina starting next year. A nighttime pillow fight at the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York, left 30 cadets injured, including 24 with concussions, according to a report in a leading U.S. newspaper. The New York Times said Friday the pillow fight marked the end of a grueling summer of training for freshman cadets. The paper said the fight is billed as a harmless way to blow off steam and build class spirit. According to the report, some cadets stuffed the pillowcases with hard objects thought to be helmets that split lips, broke at least one bone, and dislocated shoulders. I'm Sarah Williams in Washington. That's the latest world news from BOA.